What is Hepatitis C virus? Hepatitis C virus is a virus that infects our liver, causing serious long-term liver damage. Globally, an estimated 58 million people have chronic Hepatitis C virus infection, and up to 20 to 30% of them get liver hardening in 20 or 30 years' time. How can a person be contacted with Hepatitis C? The virus is passed to others by infected blood, as when people share needles, to inject drugs or pricking a fingers on a contaminated needle. Mother to baby infection during childbirth, blood transfusion before the era of blood screening, and true sexual contact are other means of transmission. It is important to point out that hugging, kissing, toilet seats, or sharing cups or kitchen utensils cannot transmit hepatitis C virus. What are the signs and symptoms? Most people have no symptoms, but symptoms can be mild to severe and sometimes life-threatening. Symptoms of acute disease include headache, body aches and pain, tiredness, indigestion, and jaundice, which is yellow discoloration of the eyes. This can last for several weeks. The most common symptoms of chronic hepatitis C is fatigue. Others are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, and pain in the upper abdomen. What are the risk factors? The risk of hepatitis C infection increase if you are a healthcare worker who has been exposed to infected blood, which may happen if an infected needle pierces your skin. If you have ever injected illicit drugs, that will increase your risk as well. If you have HIV infection, if you have received a piercing or tattoo in an unclean environment using unsterile equipment, if you have received a blood transfusion or organ transplantation before 1992, if you have received hemodialysis treatments for a long period of time, that could also increase your risk of contacting the virus. If you were born to a woman with a hepatitis C infection, or if you were born between 1945 and 1965, the age group with the highest incidence of hepatitis C infection. What are the effects of hepatitis C if it's not treated? Chronic hepatitis C can be a lifelong infection if left untreated. Chronic hepatitis C can cause serious health problems including liver damage, cirrhosis, which is scarring of the liver, liver cancer, and even death. Is Hepatitis C curable? Yes, Hepatitis C is a curable infection. Hepatitis C infection is treated with antiviral medication intended to clear the virus from your body. The goal of treatment is to have no Hepatitis C virus detected in your body at least 12 weeks after completion of treatment. With recent significant advances in the treatment for Hepatitis C using new direct acting antiviral medication. Patients experience better outcomes, fewer side effects, and shorter treatment time even as short as eight weeks. More importantly, the treatment success rate is near 100%. Therefore, it is important to seek treatment if you have hepatitis C. How can we prevent hepatitis C? Protect yourself from hepatitis C infection by taking the following precautions. Number one, Stop using illicit drugs, particularly if you inject them. If you use illicit drugs, please seek for help. Number two, be cautioned about body piercing and tattooing. If you choose to undergo piercing or tattooing, look for a reputable shop. Ask questions beforehand about how the equipment is clean. Make sure the employees use sterile needles. If employees won't answer your question, look for another shop. Thirdly, practice safer sex. Don't engage in unprotected sex with multiple partners or with any partner whose health status is uncertain. Sexual transmission between monogamous couples may occur, but the risk, however, is very low. How about diet and lifestyle changes recommendations? Just remember AWAS. A stands for alcohol. Quit drinking today as that will reduce further damage to your liver. W stands for weight. Watch your weight. 
Lack of exercises increases the risk of fatty liver, which is another modern disease that causes chronic liver damage. A stands for active lifestyle. Engage in exercises to reduce the risk of metabolic syndrome like diabetes, dyslipidemia, which are risk factors for fatty liver too. Last but not least, S stands for supplements. Be wary on supplement as some of the supplements may harm our liver too. Refrain from taking supplements without monitoring your blood. If you're in doubt, it is better to seek advice from your nearest healthcare providers.